Hey, check out our transforming A-frame cabin plan set available on RelaxShacks.com. This thing can be built for only $1,200. Very simple to construct. My book, Humble Home, Simple Shacks, is on Amazon.com. DIY, tiny house, treehouse, cabin, and fort ideas and concepts. And a nod to a uh, company featured in many of our videos, the Jamaica Cottage Shop from South London Dairy, Vermont. All right, hey, I'm Derek Diedrichson from RelaxShacks.com. Going to give you a tour of something we worked on at the workshop, Tiny House Summer Camp 2 in Vermont. Uh, put on by myself through RelaxShacks.com with the help of a lot of cool people. You'll be seeing a lot of videos from this. I want to show you down this trail I'm meandering down. One of the little cabins. We, work on, we worked on uh, four micro projects. This way everyone gets some hands-on experience. And this is a simple little A-frame cabin we built in the woods, just a sleep shelter, not a tiny house or full-time cabin with some really fantastic Andorra roofing that went up. I think we did the roof in 40 minutes. That's how quickly the stuff goes up. Uh, homemade door. For me, this is kind of my late spring cleaning slash late summer. One, two, three, four pieces of scrap plywood I had, butted them together, hid the seams with some trim, this thing right here, Ikea like Tupperware type lid, I gotta silicone that in, but inside, oh I gotta put some, a couple of things I still want to do, there's no handle lock on this yet, there'll be screening up there, or maybe a window that shuts, but we got most of it done, had a lot of fun, and inside, it's almost like a, you know, you could sleep two or three people in a sleeping bag, it's a little over six wide, and eight feet long. It's almost like a chapel in the woods. This, this was uh, under Operation Use It Up, I called it. I have so many piles of lumber and scavenged materials in Vermont. I said to people, let's take what I got, use it up before the porcupines get it, before it rots, and uh, just so I'm not so overwhelmed with materials here in Vermont. So you get this nice calico effect, different types of wood. And right here you got some Nice detail. Newer looking boards, cedar. Um, you know, some cedar again, some pine mixed in. But as you're laying down and looking up at night, which is more interesting than seeing the underside of plywood roof. Not insulated because it's just a seasonal sleeper. But so tiny you could probably, in some parts of the year, heat it with a burp. Tuftex, T-U-F-T-E-X, is roofing, but I use it as a siding to clear stuff here. So you can kind of sit in here as I step back. I'll show you again. Uh, lots of uh, nice natural light. You can see the woods beyond. The floor got to be swept out and polyurethaned. It was a muddy weekend, so we've been stepping all over it. It's all cedar scraps from a mill, fence post uh, or fence picket castaways that we made use of. These little rafters are just two by tens, and I think I'm gonna have a plan set for this uh, eventually on RelaxShacks.com. What's even cooler, maybe I should have shown you this first because some of you have left. Not enough jokes, Deke. Want a more interesting narration. But down here, as it travels downhill, I'm walking backwards, this could prove perilous. It has this very simple modern look. We call this one the arrowhead. Dustin came up with the name. We were just referring to it before that as the Micro A. Uh, we did have, um, well actually no, not really any difficulties building this. It was simple, straightforward. Used up a lot of scrap junk I had laying around. And it looks pretty fantastic considering it wasn't prime wood. We'll get just some scraps leveling it right now. We're gonna put some true pavers under it or some posts. Things so light you can lift up pretty easily with a couple people or jacket. And that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. The approach trail will eventually be rerouted so you can come up through the woods and this would be the first thing you see. Right here, maybe put a campfire in front so at night as you leave it burning, uh, the light illuminates the interior of the cabin. And at night, this thing looks fantastic when lit up. Just wanted to share. And I'm sure there will be a tiny house. Summer Camp 3, this one sold out really quickly. Tiny House Summer Camp 1 sold out quickly. Had people from San Francisco, uh, Australia, Texas, many people from Canada. Lots of fun. Uh, keep checking RelaxShacks.com for more details and other workshops coming up. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe. See you later.